up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 2 of Rocket Aikishi no Calvary. And I'm here to start a petition. Stop Shizuka 2015. Oh boy, we gotta get this girl out of here, okay? No, I can't stand this girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope, nope, she's gotta go. That girl's gotta go. <laughs> you see, she could have been a cool character. I could have liked her, but no. No, she had to go and kiss Iki, her Oni, Sama, she calls her, she calls him Oni Sama. Sama, what the, oh gosh, nope, nope, she's gotta go, she's gotta go, mm -mm. <laughs> incest does not win incest, does not, good God, mm -mm, no, it's too bad though, I like her character design a lot, but oh well, mm -mm. nope, starting that petition, here we go, all right, so, after that little rant with Shizuku, oh god. Um, with this episode, we actually learn a bit of backstory with Iki, okay? So, turns out Iki's grandfather, he was a pretty famous knight, alright? But because Iki, he doesn't have much skills or anything, stuff like magic-wise, of course, because we know he's he trains a lot with the sword. But magic-wise, he has been shunned by his family, okay? So at some point when he was little, he just couldn't take it anymore and he left, okay? And it was snowing and everything. Dude was about to die, but then a brave knight came over and rescued him. Or was it a samurai? I don't know. One of those things happened. <laughs> some dude came over and rescued him, all right? So we also got to meet this uh, girl. I don't remember her name, but uh, she kept on calling Iki Senpai and I thought... Iki was a first year, but I guess he's a second year or something, because I believe Stella is a third year. I'm pretty sure she's a third year, all right? So, this Kohai girl, um, I guess she looks up to him or something? I find that kind of weird since he's, you know, the worst one. But whatever, you know, is this turning into a harem? Because... First of all, a lot of you guys seem shocked that this might end up being an etchy, and I already thought it was an etchy because when I looked at like the tags and stuff for the description on Rakudai Kishi no Calvary about a month or two ago, they had etchy in the tag, but then with, within the past month, they took etchy out. So I don't know about that, but I already knew for a while that it was going to be an etchy, but now it's starting to turn into a harem, so I don't have a problem with harems. I've seen... A lot <laughs> of arms, all right. But uh, I don't know. I, got, uh, I don't. I don't really think this anime really needs to turn into a haremish type anime. I'm okay with the etchy, but I don't really think it needs to lean into the harem part. Hmm. Whatever. It's not really bothering me too much. I think it's just unnecessary. That's all. So um, I did enjoy this episode. Okay. And again, that animation. Uh, it takes my breath away. It really, really does, okay? Not really animation, what I mean by, like, the movements and stuff. Since, you know, we didn't really get much fighting within this episode or them using their magic. No, I'm really talking about color palette-wise, okay? And character designs, like, mainly colors. Well, let me, like, rephrase that. Basically, the colors. Oh, man. So good. I love the colors. I, I think uh, Rakuda Kishino Calvary has, like, the best colors, like, Animation-wise, best colors for the fall season, all right? Because then you have other animation, uh, other anime like uh, One Punch Man, which is great, uh, greatly animated when it comes to, like, movements and stuff like that. But then you have Rakuda Kishino Calvary, which color schemes is very good. And then you have, you know, Sakuro's and Sa Sakurako-san's investigation with, you know, the cinematography and stuff. It's just <laughs> animation. Crazy this season. It really is. All right, so... Yeah, and then, of course, for all you fanboys of uh, Stella <coughs> memory, you guys probably enjoyed that <laughs> last scene there at the end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alrighties. So, catch me later as I review yet another etchy Valkyrie Drive Mermaid. You know, if it gets translated on time. I know the raw version's out. I don't know if it'll get translated today, but I don't know. We'll see. And then Haikyuu Season 2 and Attack on Titan Junior High. I'm a female otaku, sayonara.